September is an odd but memorable month for video game releases. It's not quite the big bad fourth quarter, but a lot of important games are released in the next 30 days in hopes of skating around sales behemoths like Call of Duty. And so, this September is loaded with big games. So much so, that since we've changed Dossier into a more curated feature, it's the first time we've had to cut more than 10 games from our hot list of recommendations. Take some notes and hide your wallet. Who would have ever thought that someday, Sonic's movies would be better than his video games? But that's where we're at in 2021. The last couple 3D releases have been forgettable, but Sonic Colors from 11 years ago stands out as one of the Blue Hedgehog's last memorable outings. Now, it's coming to Xbox, PS4, and Switch with revitalized visuals and a new mode called Rival Rush. Life is Strange has become one of the most important adventure game franchises in the industry. Its mix of emotional heft with the supernatural has proven to be a powerful mashup. True Colors features an Asian American female lead who possesses empathy powers. And best of all, you won't have to wait for each episode to be released. It's all coming at once in a single package. It has a hard mature rating, so buckle up. We wish we could give you more info on NBA 2K22, but 2K has yet to release a gameplay trailer and its launch is just 10 days away. So far, we know there will be new signature moves and combos, a new shot blocking system, and an ever expanding My Team mode. It's not much, but you know what you're getting into with this round ball sim. Bandai Namco's Tales franchise has built its reputation on light and fluffy subject matter and action-based combat. The latter will return, while the former has undergone a massive transformation. Tales of Arise is a much darker, grittier entry that the publisher is hoping will reinvigorate interest. The plot centers around an evil organization siphoning power from the land. In the real time, strike and dodge combat features a litany of meters for stamina, spell casting, and of course, the special arts. Few franchises have made us laugh as long or as hard as the WarioWare series. Its brief but creative minigames are supremely memorable, and the package is designed like a dream for those with ADHD. If what we've seen so far of WarioWare Get It Together is any indication, the first entry for Switch won't be betraying expectations. The big hook this time is that you can play it with a friend and let the good times roll. Bethesda may have jumped ship to the Xbox camp, but it's leaving a parting gift for its many fans on PlayStation platforms. Deathloop is like if Groundhog Day featured a group of professional assassins working in a world full of costumed freaks. It's a roguelike shooter where you relive the same time period over and over again, trying to kill as many killers as possible. If you're the type who enjoys crafting that perfect run, or just a PlayStation fan who will miss Bethesda's games, it's a no-brainer pickup. If you're the type of person who likes to help others, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, is right up your alley. You play as a titular hero who must rescue souls from a corrupted land, but she must battle them and cleanse them first. There's also a bit of cleanup involved, as you're asked to destroy hearts to stop the corruption. It's being described as a mix between The Legend of Zelda and Uncharted, which should send up your antenna. It seemed like an eternity between the releases of Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, which means most fans know this game by heart. But with Resurrected, what was once familiar will seem new again. The visuals have received a gigantic upgrade, while expanded and shared item stashes will improve quality of life for the player. The improvements don't stop there. Automatic item pickups, recreated cutscenes, cross-platform progression, and myriad other upgrades will make the familiar feel alien. Hideo Kojima's latest project hasn't been the smash hit the PlayStation had hoped. It's a strange mailman simulation that is low on action, but high on drama. It got a second life on PC, but now it's getting a massive upgrade for its PlayStation 5 debut. Sure, it looks a bit better, but there are also new missions and brand new areas to explore. It's also been upgraded to next day mail, with new delivery options like a cargo catapult and a robot buddy. If you pass the first time, it's worth taking another look. Sega's Yakuza franchise has transformed into a turn-based RPG, but the publisher doesn't want to leave longtime fans out in the cold. So it's launched a spin-off franchise called Judgment that brings back the wacky open-world action-adventure stylings they're familiar with. 
The twist is that it doubles as a courtroom drama, where you must solve a confounding murder mystery. You play as a detective who isn't afraid to get his hands dirty. And if you're a Yakuza fan, you shouldn't be afraid to open up your wallet. And there you have our picks for the 10 games from September 2021 that you should seriously consider buying. This month has a lot more games worth considering, so point your browser to sifted.net. Tell us which games, consoles, and content you care about, and we'll give you a custom feed of content that will keep you in the know. If you enjoy what we're doing, please consider pledging to our Patreon at patreon.com slash sifted. We're supported 100% by our generous patrons. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month. Thank you.